fraud. The wrongful or criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. I don't know about the gain part, but Shane McClanahan is deceiving you. Everyone has come to know McClanahan as one of the best pitchers in the league, and rightfully so. In two full seasons in the majors, the dude has had a sub-3 RA, and entering a season he was a common choice to take the Cy Young crown. Up to this point in the year, that expectation had been met. A 2-5-3 ERA through 17 games is 5th in all of baseball. And for all you boomers out there, he has a win-loss record of 11-1. and And before his most recent injury, he was the betting favorite to win the award. But what if I told you his production this season was all a perfectly placed illusion? You see, his stats are in line with exactly what an untrained eye would expect from McClanahan in any given season. But the expected numbers say, no way, Jose. A quick check of McClanahan's FIP will tell you his ERA should be almost a run and a half higher and his XERA was to just much of the same. So what gives? What happened to the McClanahan we used to know? It starts with McClanahan not being as efficient at striking guys out and limiting walks. McClanahan is striking out 9.5 batters per 9 innings, which is a career low and walking at an astronomical 3.6 batters per nine innings. Off the back of that, his stuff has gotten worse, in particular with his off speed. While his changeup remains as filthy as ever, his slider has taken a bit of a step back in the traditional sense with batters slugging at almost 700 against the pitch. But even the slider is pulling a bit of an a ruse because the curveball is the pitch that has really lost its luster, it just hasn't been exploited yet. Currently, batters are hitting 189 against the pitch with the 283 slugging, which are fantastic numbers to have on any pitch, but with advanced data, we know batters are expected to hit around 280 with a 514 slugging. Drastically different numbers than that of traditional side. A lot of the reason of concern is the pitch has lost a lot of its movement compared to last season. The pitch has lost over 4 inches of vertical break, as well as 3.5 inches of horizontal break. And while those are above average numbers in my opinion, it might not be helping the lefty's case. Could this be because McClanahan was injured the whole season and it just became too much to have to be put on the IOL? Sure. Maybe. I'm willing to take any explanation for a sudden loss in movement and spin rate, but should all of this really be that concerning to us? Well, unless you already broke the bank putting money on McClanahan to win the Cy Young, not really. McClanahan will probably find his form again coming off injury, and with the Rays' use of pitchers, he will almost always outperform his expected numbers. If you're a Rays fan, you shouldn't have much cause for concern either, because the Rays just pump out excellent pitching anyways. And at the end of the day, even McClanahan's numbers do start to find some middle ground, we're still talking about a good pitcher. Maybe not a Cy Young type guy, but still very serviceable and will pitch some big innings down the stretch.